So we have to figure out a way to save the information. And again, we're going to do that within um, our login when the user logs in the first time. So it's going to be within our onClick method, and it's going to be when we authorize here. And then within our onComplete method, we know everything worked out. So we're going to save the information to the shared preferences within our onComplete method. And to do this, we just refer to an editor. So that's within the shared preferences class. And we're just going to call this editor. Set this equal to sp.edit. And then we have to tell the editor what we want to save. So we're going to say editor.putString. Because again, we're saving a string. And we have to give it the name that we want to save this file as. So we want to say the string value is our access token. Or sometimes I like to just copy and paste just to be sure. Um, so we're going to copy this, paste it down here, access token. And the value that we're going to save is we're going to refer to our Facebook variable and we're going to say get access token. Because again, by the time we hit this on complete method, everything has been accomplished. So we're just getting the information or getting the access token from the Facebook variable after everything has been completed and we've been signed in. And we're going to save that information to a string value called access token. And then again, within our onCreate method, we uh, load up that data when we start our activity. So hopefully that makes sense. And then again, we have to do that for our expiration or expires. So we're going to say put long. And for a variable, we want to say access expires. Hopefully that's what we labeled it. And again, we're just going to refer to our Facebook variable, get access expires from it after, again, we've logged in. And then the last thing that we have to do is we have to commit. So that's going to make all of the changes to our shared preferences with a, that our editor is going to make. So we're just going to say, okay, everything's gravy, baby. We're done. Make those changes. Save that stuff after we've hit this complete method. All right, so talking through everything that we did, we have a shared preferences. And once our activity starts or once it's created, it's going to go into private mode or set our shared preferences in private. And that's again for when we write information. And then it's going to try and load some information from our shared preferences. Uh, the information it's going to try and load is the access token. If it can't find it, it's going to be null. And if it, it's also going to try and load the expires, access expires. And if it can't find anything, it's going to be zero. But if it could find both of those, then we're going to set the Facebook access expires and the access token, which will essentially log us into Facebook and uh, they don't have to go through that whole dialogue popping up. But obviously that's not going to happen the first time that they load our app application. So the first time that they load it, they're going to have to log in. That's going to call this on click method and we're going to authorize. And then once everything's complete and they've been signed in, we're going to open up our editor for our shared preferences and we're going to save that information just by relating to the Facebook variable and getting the access token and getting the access expires. We're gonna make those commitments and then we're done. So that's a simple way for us to automatically log them in when they use their application after they've already signed in Facebook at least once. So it's gonna be a lot more user friendly and let's just make sure everything works out because sometimes I mess up a little bit. So obviously I have to log in real quick here once. All right, so Let's log in. Looks like we're logged in, so that's good. I'm gonna go back to the home, settings, settings, application, manage applications. So we're gonna go into our Facebook app. We're gonna force close it, make sure it's not running. Uh, we don't wanna clear the data because this data that's been saved was from our shared preferences. So let's go back to our home and restart our application. And hopefully it'll sign us in. Not good. Oh, okay. So what happened is our Facebook variable hasn't been set up yet before we try and you know refer to this this stuff here. So um, we looks like we did save it because it would have not hit this Facebook stuff um, unless our access token was not null and also our expiration or expires was not zero. So then what I tried to do is access this Facebook here, which we haven't defined yet to tell down here. So Let's just cut this guy, move it up here, and we, let's try this again. So let's save this, run it. My bad. That's why I like to test sometimes. And as you can see, it looks like we're already logged in. So awesome. 
it worked. Like we're logged in already. We didn't have to click that button. So thanks again for watching, guys, and we will catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good one.